I think we're concerned that this group of poets should be a representation of a generation. I think, I'm probably biased, but I think that poetry's on the up at the moment. I think we're going through a fantastic phase. It comes and goes, you know, and it, sometimes you get a lot of poets coming through and then there's a fallow period, but at the moment it seems to me we're on the crest of a wave. Not simply that we've got a massive cohort of young poets coming through, but older poets are appearing and people are, somehow poetry seems to be taking its place in the national discourse in a way. And you can't put that down to anything, whether it's the work of Poets Laureate, whether it's uh, people being taught poetry in schools and in colleges and in universities, but somehow poetry's there. And we wanted this list to represent that, to represent a wide range of ages, of styles, of approaches to poetry and say, actually, look, poetry is this thing. It's this massive thing. And the other thing that I like about the list is that it's saying poetry is not a precious jug that if you drop it, it's going to shatter. Actually, you can do what you want with these poems. You can knock them up and down, you can throw them about, and they will survive, and poetry will carry on. In the days when you still get talking women on panel shows, I'm proud of the fact that we've got uh, 12 women and eight men on this list. And I'm also proud and excited and pleased by the fact that all the poets are engaging with the world. We know that the world, that Britain and the world, are going through interesting times, and you think, Sometimes poets will step away from that and look backwards. But actually all the poets on the list, they're looking backwards, forwards and around at the same time. And that's what makes it exciting. That as well as looking to news organisations and historians and academics for how we should see the world, I think lists like this make us want to look at the poets and say, look, how, how are the poets explaining the world? And these poets really are explaining the world to us in a fantastic way. The judging process was that I arrived quite late on the judging process being the chair. So by the time I'd arrived, the early rounds had been done. So each of the judges uh, were sitting around and they'd already made their decisions and we had a, a long list of 30 and whittled that down to 20. And there was a, a moment in this room and I thought, why can't we film this? Why can't this be an example of what should happen? This is like early universities were, where people just sat down and chucked about ideas. So me and Claire Pollard and Caroline Bird and Robert Crawford and Paul Farley just sat and talked and discussed and debated. And you think, wow, this is how it should be in every poetry workshop in the land. And so we're really pleased and excited by this list. And all the poets on the list will go on to create greater things. They've created fantastic poems already that go on, they'll go on to create greater things. And in years to come, we'll remember, we'll say, yeah, I bought, I bought that first book of theirs. And look at them now. Look what they're doing now. Maybe not always in poetry, maybe in other forms, but we will say, look, look at these, look at these thinkers. Look at these people who are subtly changing the way we think about the world and about literature. So that's a great thing, and I'm proud and excited to have been part of it.